Hey everybody, this is Kaylee, or Cat, or Classic Cat, as I'm sometimes called, and I'm here to discuss Marketing Mayhem, selling Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis to post-war America by Rick Green, who I interviewed a few months ago, and I uh, contributed a little bit to this book with photos and, um, you know, input on some chapters from here and here and there, and uh, it's finally here. And it looks, this one, this one's a textbook. Uh, so this one's the hardback. Uh, I finally got my hardback after a month uh, from Amazon. I wanted to um, take my time and um, order from Amazon a hardback version. They had the paperback uh, for a while, and then they finally got the paper, the hardback in. So that's what I have here, and it's ginormous. It's like filled with so many um, beautiful photos and advertisements and um, 700 and how many pages? Let's see. This is it's definitely 700 pages here, I think. Da -da -da. But, you know, we've got some rare photos in here. And um, over about 150 pages of text uh, talking about everything that you need to know about the marketing for Dean and Jerry throughout their partnership. And even um, it goes into uh, some of their solo, um, you know, their uh, records, their advertisements for their solo films even. Um, it goes into the Colgate Comedy Hour, the radio show um, promotions. Uh, let's see, we have the copa cabana um then we have let's see da, 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 circus squares and screwballs club that's um i think that there was like another um the no, zeros down there and another one for the copa cabana and um the sands whole bunch of um you know rare photos for a lot of this stuff some of them you might have seen before um there's like the the 500 club and the dear brat um was on the same um marquee as them uh they were playing during that show um so it, it really goes into the advertisement um the tons of advertisement i'm not even sure if anyone had been promoted as much at that time don't think so and there's a, a lot of there are a lot of promo photos that's from partners and um beautiful beautiful photos um you got the advertisements for living it up and um rick goes into um each film and uh, all the different um, promotional stuff that was for that, for each film, for, for each film. And some had more than others. Uh, of course, you know, uh, in their first film, uh, my friend Irma, there weren't as many um, lobby cards that had them on there because they weren't the main... Um, attractions yet but then by the second film you know they had uh really taken over the show so my friend Irma goes west they'd you know were featured i think in every lobby card and um yeah so he, he, we even have um some of the early advertisements here that's one from dean um he is at I think that one was just given, yeah, that one was just given to all the clubs, I think. And then there was another one with uh, Rio Bamba and stuff. So from start to finish, it's a visual 
visual delight with so many great photos. And there were a few, quite a few, in fact, that I hadn't seen. And I've seen pretty much, I, I've seen everything that's like online for sure. And then the, the enormous collection that I have, and it's always great to see new stuff of which more and more keeps popping up. So, you know, that's always, that's always great to see. Um, and there's um, artists and models. Um, the photos are all in black and white. Uh, partially, I, I think, I think he had to do that because of it cost it the the book uh you know if we had done it if he you know if that had been in color i think that would have been like over a hundred dollars probably because it's already um you know it's, it's a pretty good sized book so it's definitely worth the 60 dollars uh hardback for sure uh, but I think, you know, if it had all been in color, um, yeah, it would have been very, very expensive. But this is like an encyclopedia of advertisements and um, different promotional stuff that they did throughout their career. Let's see if we can find... Let's see if we can find some of the um, actual like the tuck tape and stuff is talked about the 3d for money from home um they also had um of course babushka scarves oh i've i've been meaning to share that uh a photo of my babushka scarf that features Dean and Jerry. I have it framed. Um, I received it from a fellow fan who also, uh, I believe, contributed to the book. His name is Joe Patrici. That's a shout out to Joe. Thank you so much for this beautiful scarf that was in great condition. And um, he is, Joseph Patrici is mentioned in uh, the book as a contributor, and uh, so am I, um, and so is my friend Jessica. Um, she did an awesome job uh, of sending uh, Rick some great photos and contributions as well, and um, definitely because I was I was really busy uh, at at the time at times that. Uh, Rick needed me and, and she definitely helped him out a lot too. And, um, you know, it's a wonderful book. Uh, Rick gives such great detail uh, to all of the, you know, promotional materials. Uh, he really knows what he's talking about. Um, you know, stuff that I definitely didn't know. And, um, want to have known about without Rick, Rick's book, you know, this is just, you know, so much great information. Um, and you know, even it talks about like, um, the like lobby card, um, the, the posters, the, um, standing, um, the standees. I think I'm saying that right. Um, you know, there's, you know, different, I'm not even sure how he found that out, but it's all in the book. And, um, you know, he discusses, you know, what for each film, like what the theater was asked to do and how they were asked to promote the film. And, um, I, I feel like the, way they were promoted was on a level so much more than films were i mean are today uh yeah it, it's much more interactive 
in a sense. Like there was a lot, a lot more contest. And uh, look at th look at these. For some reason, um, <laughs> Jerry. Well, Dean doesn't wear lipstick in this one, but Jerry is. It's always amusing to see. Um, but look at look at this great quality of these advertisements. And um, you know, we couldn't fit. <laughs> I, I I sent a whole bunch of of uh, stuff that didn't even make it into the book, so uh, Rick couldn't fit it all in there. Uh, that shows you how much promotion there was um, for Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis. And so he, he couldn't fit it all uh, in there or else, I mean, it would be thousands of pages. <laughs> Maybe not thousands, but over a thousand pages for sure of, um, you know, great material. And it's great that we have all of this um material um as it is to choose from i mean because you know some i'm you know people are fans of certain people from old hollywood and unfortunately there wasn't that much to choose from from them but you know this was definitely worth an entire huge textbook of a book and bring this one out money from home it's a great advertisement and then so um i love that too from three ring circus um so you know there's so much to choose from um i love this i don't know if you can see quite um that's from um, a special treat from the Colgate Comedy Hour, which is a missing episode, um, which Rick was so amazing to put in this book from his collection. Uh, so, you know, there's, it has, it discusses the recordings really in depth and their promotional um, stuff. Talks about the movies, radio, TV, uh, stage, just publicity in general, uh, the magazines, comic books. Uh, so many of the comic books are, um, you know, um, kind of like, they're not really talked about. Um, and this, you know, uh, Rick puts a, a few covers Quite a few covers in there and um you know actual uh not just the covers so like inside the comic uh and he puts a few of um those in there so you can see um if you don't happen to have a comic of dean and jerry you can see what was inside there um and then you know their merchandise solo dean solo jerry their legacy and um you know it's, it, it's a lot for sure a lot a very good read and um so many so many great photos um you know definitely i would say um that the dean martin and jerry lewis and tv and radio is like the encyclopedia of their appearances that's by michael j Hayde, and this is a great companion uh book for the publicity end and um they're both encyclopedias for sure uh this is what i was talking about we've got the inside and then we got the cover uh, let's um, this part is inside. And yeah, definitely these, um, character, uh, cartoon-ish, um, comic book, the comic book version is what I was trying to say. 
version of Dean and Jerry really looks like them. Um, so this, this was a great, I really need to like buy, I don't own any of the comic books, but I need to. Um, so this is definitely, I, I do own a shirt, um, that I, I, I put one of the moments from the comic books in there that somebody had posted online. Uh, it was really funny. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna say it, it, it was it was a it, so okay um so Dean and Jerry were in bed together in this this um scene in the comic books for some reason they were sharing a bed and um like Jerry was or no Dean was asleep I guess and then Dean was like cut it out Jer leave me alone and you know Jerry says out of nowhere, I'm not touching you, Dean. What, what's the matter? <laughs> like, I'm not even touching you. So I put that, yeah. Uh, yeah, I put that on a shirt because I thought it was really, really funny. So apparently other people on, um, other, other fans thought it was amusing too. So, yeah, some of them purchased it for me so uh, that's that was a little thing from the comic books so <laughs> um I don't think yeah I, I'm not I I had to take it off of um of Redbubble though because I think I got into copyright issues or something yeah oh well anyway it was it was a fun t-shirt and I still have it anyway back to <laughs> back to marketing mayhem it is available on Amazon now in hard cover and paperback both. And um, so there's like a $10 difference um, for uh, between the hardback and the paperback. Um, and then it's available on at Walmart, Barnes and Noble, um also at oh bear Mar bear manor which is the publisher and i think it's you know available wherever you can find books but i mean i mean just just go to amazon or walmart or barnes and noble or bear manor <laughs> uh, um i think it was i think there are a lot um quicker with the shipping on the hardback now paperback um usually has been i think pretty quick in the delivery but um yeah as you can see there's a lot of work that goes into um the hardback for sure and um if you are overseas uh it will I, i'm not sure how long it will take for you but it is available on amazon um, in Europe and um, so I hope you have a good experience um, with with your book and um, if there's any damage to the book of course you can always just um, ship it back um, hopefully that won't happen but because I mean this is a you do want a great copy of this book so if you have any um, difficulties um then you know just ship it back to amazon or wherever and get yourself a new one because you deserve it um and it, because this is a great book and you want to have the best uh copy possible don't you just love that uh this was from the saturday evening post um that was from money from home and it was a puro later oil filter um, advertisement. So they would pop up in the most random of advertisements sometimes. And um, Magnavox uh, was another one. And um, you know, please check out my interview with Rick Green. Um, he goes a little bit more in detail, uh, a lot more in detail, in fact. And um, you know, he's a great guy. We discussed a lot of great stuff um, in our last interview. 
And this is another, um, this is from Dean and Jerry's fourth, fourth? Yes, I think it's the fourth, yeah, fourth anniversary. Um, and that was from when they were on, um, at War with the Army, they were filming that. So, uh, Rick also goes into um, his take on each film. So sometimes he likes them, sometimes he explains why he thinks it was a bit of a mess. Um, such as at War with the Army, I think me and Rick definitely both agree that that one is a bit of a mess. Uh, and it's not really um, Martin and Lewis of what they do best. And yet that one was the most available um, because it's in uh, public domain. So it's most easily, 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 <laughs> easily accessible. Um, but unfortunately that's, that's not their, that was probably their worst one. Um, just, but, you know, the scenes of Dean and Jerry together are always brilliant. So they should just cap to that instead of whatever the script was for that film, which separated them most of the time. So, you know, um, that's why my boy um, did that separation a lot better, though. Um, but check out Rick's reviews for yourself by ordering Marketing Mayhem right now. Um, the links will be below in the video. And I hope you get yours very soon and join in on the fun. Um, I also have to mention that the foreword is by Eddie Deason in all capital letters, of course. Um, and he, he really loves the team. Um, and, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed his, that's him with, um, Rick. So that's Eddie and that's Rick Green there. Our, um, so I hope you enjoy this this absolute ginormous book because there's so much to absorb for sure um this i'm a little jealous of rick um owning a a beautiful like full length um poster for chesterfield and it's 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 in beautiful condition for sure. Um, the salt and pepper shakers are a little creepy, but that's all. <laughs> that's all in the book um, as well. The creepy puppets and the creepy salt and pepper shakers that were part of the publicity for them and the marketing materials for them as a team. Well. I am going to keep reading. I'm going to keep reading this huge book because it's a lot. It's a lot. And um, definitely um, check out um, the other one that I mentioned um, as well uh, is uh, Dean and D. Martin and Jerry Lewis on TV and radio. Uh, that is by Michael J. Hayde. So you want these two books together and your Martin and Lewis collection is complete. I mean, there's definitely other books, but I mean, as far as um, knowing their entire uh, promotional and TV and show history, these two books have got, got it all. So I would say... This is an encyclopedia of marketing material. And that's great. I'm thinking maybe one of these days I'll make a Jerry one. Who knows? With as much um, marketing material as, as much promotional photos and um, photos just throughout his career that I have. Maybe one day um, 
there'll be one for Jerry. I, who knows? Um, but thank you, everybody. Go out and buy this amazing book.